Hey everyone, it's Nenad here. Some of you might know me as the drummer of Stormbird. And speaking of Stormbird, many of you have been asking me, Hey Gronk, when the hell is your EP coming out? Now as you all know, Phil and Marco and JC and I, we've been working really hard on this disc for the past, what, half year or so? And in the meantime, we've been writing music and gigging and a whole heap of other activities. I am proud to say that I will be announcing a release date very, very soon. So short answer, yes, it is coming, people! Now, the EP was supposed to be released a while back, but the reason for the delay is because we've had to make a few changes. Recently, the four of us had a hens meeting where we talked about life and love and furniture and everything else in between, and we ended up having a really intense chat about this EP. And we agreed that in order to give you guys a product that is worthy of release and distribution, there were two major things that we needed to fix, and one of the two was drums. I was still relatively new to the band when I recorded drums the first time back in January. Now this was my first ever studio experience, I was heaps excited and nervous and fidgety and overall just really happy to be there. Now although I knew the songs and their structures, I did not have a set track that I pre-planned, I just went in and improvised a lot of my drum parts. For the sake of progress though and for the sake of saving money, I thought it was best to just shut up and let the tracks be and then re-record them at a later stage as part of an album. But as you guys know, we've had several shows over the last few months and we've had so many rehearsals that I've lost count. And it's through these activities coupled with practice at home on the weekends that I found myself slowly and dare I say unconsciously fine tuning some of these drum patterns you know, taking out what was not needed and inserting other bits that worked a lot better. And as a result, the songs were taking on a much more wholesome form. And it was all the more reason for us to improve on what we had. So I, or we rather, decided to go back into a studio and retrack the drums. And this time I did my homework. I recorded some stems here at home for personal reference and I even had Marco come in to oversee what I'm doing to tick off on good bits, give some pointers on dynamics and the like and we had a rehearsal a few days before with all the instruments present and went through each song in greater detail and once we deconstructed some of the parts I took notes, went through a few more practice runs at home and got myself plenty of sleep the night before. This time I recorded at the vibrant A-sharp studios with our dear engineer Adam Barnes at the helm and Marco came along to keep me company. And this time around I felt a lot more confident. I knew what I was doing, I knew what I needed to play, execution was a lot better and I even had the opportunity to experiment with some high-end snare drums to get a much better sound. It was a long day and out of the five songs we finalised three and saved the other two for another session. So I hope this answers some of your questions and let me repeat, the EP is on its way. Friends, if you aren't following my band yet, here are some helpful links. We have a Facebook page and a YouTube channel. I would appreciate it if you took a moment to either like our page or subscribe. We've also got an official website where you can find more information such as tour dates, biographies and whatever else. And guys, our music video for one of our songs off the EP is currently in post-production and will be released around about the same time as the EP, so all the more reason to stay tuned. Thank you all for your attention, tell all your girlfriends about me, and I will see you next time. I'm going to do the whole delusion again as punishment because I'm acting like a fucking...